Right, the first problem in the precipitation reaction, the ones that were called round four, is silver nitrate plus potassium chromate. And silver nitrate has the formula AgNO3, while potassium chromate has the formula of K2CrO4. So the first thing I need to do is split those into ions and see what is really floating around inside the beaker. So they each split up into ions, and I'm looking for an insoluble combination. Oops, too quick. So I'm asking myself, will the silver combine with the chromate, or will the potassium combine with the nitrate? Now, conveniently, we have a rule. All nitrates are insoluble, excuse me, are soluble, that there's no nitrates that form a solid. We also have a rule that says this here. Here we have it. It's a group one. The group ones never form soluble, excuse me, insoluble compounds. So my insoluble compound is going to be the silver chromate. These will be still floating around as ions. So when I need to write my net, I've got to eliminate the spectators. So that's simply saying that if it appears on both sides of the equation, like nitrate does and potassium does, then I get to just cross them out. They're not part of my net ionic. So my final answer for this is I've got two silver plus chromate making silver chromate. You do not have to write these state symbols, but I'm writing them to make it clear that these are floating around inside the beaker, and this is a solid that formed. So there is, there is the net ionic equation for this reaction.